All right, guys, we're here. We're going to do a little commentating for the seeding round that took place this year at the 2020 Southern Nationals. Uh, just to walk you guys through, like, what goes on during, you know, like a five-minute stint for, for, like, a seeding round or something, you know, just to give you a little, little background uh, knowledge or some, some walkthrough, you know. But basically, yeah, no, we're starting the seeding round here. Uh, this is the Nitro Buggy class. You know, got my HBD 819 RS with the Reds motor in there. Hot race tires, ripping around the track. Um, seating took place pretty early this year, which was kind of, I don't know, not normal. Uh, it normally happens towards the end of the practice day. You know, the track has time to develop. But, um, no, I mean, it took place around probably noon this year. I think I had maybe hit the track two or three times before this, so we're still kind of trying to dial things in. Um, but I mean, even watching the video here, I can tell like what we needed to change, and of course, like afterwards, I changed it. But um, here we go. You know, we're starting second lap here, five minute stint, trying to take you know your your three best laps in a row. Uh, we'll seat you into your qualifier for the weekend. So, um, but yeah, no, here we go over the the, the middle double hitting the big big crossover super fun jump into the nice humongous drop down the track here in seating had you know blue groove surface it started to deteriorate a little bit but not too bad it was it was a little dry um here we go lap three ripping down the front straight just a nice little floater double dropping off the back um, if you can't tell like i can tell now but the traction the car has the wheels that are on my car, the way the front end shakes, I can already tell that I kind of needed to change some things, but you know, sometimes you don't have the best car when you go out there because you don't know what to expect, so you kind of just try to deal with it and and uh, do the best you can with the car that you have at the time, so you know, we're hitting the fourth lap here. I think I have two decent ones, so the third one would be nice. I think I ended up messing up, dropping down the back again. Hitting the nice tight lines. You really had to tighten up the lines uh, so you don't lose too much time. The, the, the groove was probably, in, in seating even, was probably two feet wide. I mean, even if you got outside of that two feet, like you were out in the loam just blowing the tires off. But here we go in the back bowl, jumping onto the front section in front of staging. This was one of my favorite parts of the track, honestly. Even with it not being rough, like it was super fun. Even being rough, it was fun to me because it was a challenge. I mean, it was super hard. Um, but here, I'm kind of fighting a little bit for, for forward grip, a little bit of side grip. I just knew I had a couple things wrong. Uh, like, first thing I noticed was I think, I think the wheels were a little too hard. It was a little inconsistent with the side grip, the forward grip. Uh, but other than that, like the shock package was working really good. It was just a couple of like fine tuning things like kick up in the front, some anti squat in the back. Uh, just moved up to the top five here. Just putting in some clean laps. Just trying not to overdrive too much. Seeing what's going on, I think uh, Mayfield's out front at this time. Brunson even put down a couple good laps already. Um, their cars were good right off the rip, you know. We're, we're sitting here going around the track, kind of feeling things out some more, just trying to get a clean run in to make sure we're not in like the B or the C qual for the weekend. Um, but yeah, no, the car was working good. I already could tell I needed to change a few things. I think I got three good laps in already. About a minute and a half left, dropping down the back. I don't even think I'm like wrecked during the, the seating because like I said, I just wanted to get a bunch of good clean laps to make sure I had you know the maximum amount of laps possible to try to get three good ones so minimize the mistakes in seating you know make sure you get a good a good start spot for the quals um, yeah cars getting cars getting a little sketchy here I think I started to, to overdrive a little bit started stabbing the gas and when you get the stabbing the gas on a track like this like Sometimes it'll get you in trouble and uh, most people don't even realize when they have too much power But stuff like that will happen you start yanking the gas and the car gets a little wompy and Starts going through the bumps all choppy, but 
yeah, I mean, you pretty much got to be nice and smooth on the gas. Stay, stay in, the, in, the, in the groove, hit your marks, no wrecks. But uh, hitting the, under the crossover into the bowl in the back again. I think we're about to finish up here in about two laps just to make sure we get two more solid laps in. The track actually ended up breaking up pretty bad for the mains, but right here it's beginning to develop some character. Um, but still not totally totally blown out yet like it, used, like it usually does. But now the track was super fun. Those guys at race time did a good job, you know. I mean, definitely different than, than years before, but hey, not, it can't always be the same, so avoiding a little wreck here. You know, stay tight, avoid the bumps. Make sure you don't get out into the loam and and spin out and wreck. But uh, yeah, that was the seating round at the 2020 Southern Nats. Hope you guys like it.